My name is Tevin Bell. And my name is Andrew Taji. And this is how we approached using an experience prototype to explore a concept for a new smart city service. We wanted to use this technique to explore the concept of a smart automated healthcare network and the emotional response one would have to it. Our design came from a speculative design fiction and consists of two parts. The first is health tracking wearables that measure users' vitals and blood content. When certain nutrients are low or a health anomaly is detected, the wearer is alerted where they can get personalized supplements or medication. The second is an ATM-like pharmaceutical dispenser that administers the type and amount of medication or supplements identified by the wearable. We saw benefits where this could cut down on the tedious manual process of accurately sorting and measuring medication done by pharmacists. It could also reduce the clerical work of information transfers between a doctor's office and the local pharmacy. To explore and evaluate the concept of how people responded to medical advice from a wearable and the idea of an automated pharmacy, we developed an experience prototype using cell phones and a prop dispenser. Using a Fitbit user as a participant and a cell phone in the place of a wearable, we found that being alerted to use the service was not innately bothersome. Having to go out of one's way multiple times in a short period was tiring and inconvenient. Based on this prototype, we found that there is not much reluctance towards receiving directions from a wearable or receiving medication and supplements from machines. Moving forward, we would like to work with pharmacists and security specialists to investigate the security of combining medical data and billing data on a wearable, how to monitor blood content, what range of medications should be offered, and the behavioral and social impact of implementing such a system.